Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new campaign in Broken Crescent mod and this is your campaign because this is the first time we've ever opened up um, the campaigns to a faction vote and the Abbasids won. There they are, Abbasids, right there in the centre and they would be occupying what is mostly modern day Iraq, maybe Kuwait as well. It's a bit hard to tell from here. But yeah, pretty much Iraq. And uh, there's the info about them. So how much is there? Oh, blast, there's a lot, isn't there? So uh, go ahead and read up to there. And then go ahead and read down to there. At your own leisure, of course. And continue on reading. All the way to there. Now we're going to play with the campaign at hard and the battles at very hard and we're going for a short campaign. Now it looks like we start off with uh, what maybe four four regions and we need 20 so we still have to gain 16. Um, for reference long campaign 60 so I don't think anyone wants to see me take over 60. Now we are supposed to take out the Seljuks of Kerman, which I think is that dark blue there, and the Unids, which I think are the ones around, um, is that Bahrain? Is that Bahrain there? Bahrain is either at the tip there, or at the tip there. That could be the United Arab Emirates. My geography isn't 100%. We've done an Amani faction, which was up there. Um, so I think these are the Unids, and uh, so we have to take out them and them. Right, but we do at least start with access to the sea. Um, so, lack strong late period infantry. I don't know how far the late period is in this mod. Can field a good mix of infantry and light cavalry. All right. So, um, anything else we need to do? do uh, not really so let's get into it it probably has copyrighted music as well Alright, I think that's enough of that. I mean, it does look good, but you probably want to see some action, don't you? Um, other than that, it's a nice loading screen. I don't think I've seen that one before. Alright, revive the Caliphate, or Caliphate, I guess. Alright, again, vast amount of reading. Um, so, I don't know if that's the same as what was in the... Uh, faction selection screen or not but go ahead and read it again at your own leisure because if I was reading it you wouldn't get to see too much of the actual campaign right <clears throat> so as I said this was the first time the channel has ever had a faction vote and the Abbasids easily won it they beat Mercuria which was in second place and uh, Mercuria is in modern day Sudan I think and the Kipchaks came in a distant third and they're up there in the top left up in the Russian steppes so we do have three uh, four three cities one castle uh, was put down middle right agents at least we get a family tree in this. Um, I've been playing a couple campaigns where I don't have any family trees in uh, different mods. So we've got a merchant and if you've seen my other campaigns you'll know how spectacular merchants are in this. 
It's enough to change the mind of Legend of Total War. Right, and... Um, Diplomat and a Spy. There he is. So, we'll have to make some tough choices, I think, early on. The merchant, right. Can't see what you'd get there. You get 610 off the bat there. 66, 66, 374. I mean, those are awesome, aren't they? Right from the start. They do cost about a thousand to recruit, though. Wherever you will, so, what we need to decide is are we going after some rebel territories to build up? Are we going straight for the uh, Seljuks of Kerman, which would be somewhere up here? Or are we going to try and push straight along here and take out the Unids? That is the question to be or not to be. Or to do or not to do. Right. Let's see what's going on down here. We bumped into something. See, we've got two rebel settlements. Uh, a lot of cavalry and heavy infantry and good archers. 9,000 population. Would that even give us a port? There's a large rebel force there and a small one there with a somewhat weaker force, Al Najaf. So you are a large town and you are a large town, but I think that's a bigger one. You got 50% chance. 8,300 in there. Income 2,100. What was your income? Don't know. Um, if they come after us, we're going to be in some trouble, aren't we? We don't really have any extra troops. Who are those? Abner Heavy Spears, some good uh, cavalry there, Caliph's Guard, Orders. Nubian Archers, Kurdish Swords, Kurdish Javelins, right, uh, Faris Lancers, Faris Cavalry, I mean, you're not getting free upkeep, are you? I think Hello. what we need to do, um, also, all mercenaries are Pretty expensive. Um, you usually have a pretty good treasury most of the time. I think we need to get rid of them because I don't think those ones will move out of the settlements but he's already out there. So my castle probably has the better units. Those are quite cheap. Those are quite reasonable. Those are the kind of average prices that you pay for cav, starting at 1500 up to about 3000 um, Pretty much for every faction I've played, um, that's usually the price. We've used Ascaris before in the last campaign as well. So, 1000 just for basic spears. Nubians. Uh, another diplomat though. Wouldn't hurt. We're going to make money here. Yeah. See, we're making good money. But also the buildings, even for dirt roads, very expensive. The next level is something like 10 or 12k. But uh, I think we'll need it. They've got defences, or they can get defences. Um castle. Can we get better units? Arabian swords, Pharos heavy infantry. Arabian swords, so we'd only get the Pharos infantry. That's the correct pronunciation. Nubian archers, Bedouin archers, Bedouin archers, Kurdish Javelin. Nubian archers would be what we get if we spent another 8k. <coughs> I am going to get that.
Oh yes, the ancient capital of um, Sisyphon. Right. Well, I guess there's not much more to do, so we'll quickly turn. There's a road going there somewhere. And see what cooks off. So, um, thanks for everyone who did vote. Don't worry that if you vote for Mercurio or the Kipchaks, they're going to go into the next um, vote. So you'll have another chance at getting them. He got married. Uh, we could turn it down. But you know what? We'll take it. Uh, we'll probably open up most, if not all, campaigns. Uh -huh, it's going up there. Two votes. Um, if you don't like channels that have faction votes, let me know. Because again, this is the first time we've ever had one. There's probably someone over here we can bump into. Alright, Zengids. Right, so we're Sunni, they're Sunni. A well considered offer in otherwise proposition. It is not without another proposal. Very good. Alright, he's rank five. He starts as rank five, so that's pretty good. Um there's more Zengids, but we'll be able to reach the Franks pretty soon. AKA Latins. Yeah, you got a 21% chance against them. Can we get some units there? We can't even get units there. We can get a Dow, which would help us move around a bit, wouldn't it? Alright, in that case... Alright, yep, there's the units. He's got a large force and he's going to be bordering us at al Katif quite soon. Yeah, just move him up if he captures that. They take two turns to get. You can only get two units there. Three turns, three turns. Ooh. Right, let's get him. We're going to have a little money left over, so we're constructing, constructing, and constructing. So we'll probably get a field battle against those rebels at least. Now if anyone's played as the Abbasids, um, let me know because I don't think I've ever played as them. I'm going to accept him because we need one. That Baghdad. Revolution in Egypt. All right, the uh, Saladin, uh, or in Latin, his Latinized name is Saladin, right? Ayub, he started his own dynasty. Good for him. Follow your dreams. All right, send him Missouri to the Ayubids, which we'll try to do. We shall try. Right, so that other chap showed up. Uh, they did not manage to capture it. Right, they've got a large fleet. And they're now on the ship. Almara. Yeah. They've got a lot of troops. How on earth did they get them? They've only got one blasted um, settlement, don't they? Yeah. Obviously, the AI. Starts off in a better position than the human player. A lot better. Fairly certain Soljuk's around here somewhere. I think we should have bumped into him. Can you take him? No. Your mom. Right. So. You're going to head north. So we've got the Ballista Towers.
you know, you need free up here, will you? size they might have a unit or two more uh, more merchants now merchants can make a vast amount of money it's not uncommon to find trade resources that you can get 10k per turn on however you've also got to defend them which means you need assassins Right, there's a Georgian capital. We act excellent. What else would you say? I am afraid I must deny not willing to pay you. Perhaps some thing here, mighty Sultan. What does the Sultan? What is it you would talk to us about in your you enjoy please go on. We are listening. I cannot quite Ah, this is a little better. You enjoy yeah. holding us. Adieu, senor. We got it. As you will, Sultan. No. As you will. There they are. And what do we get? Some units. Where are those Kermans? No. As you will, Sultan. Well, not there. Kind of looked like they were there on the. Uh, Selection screen. Right. Now, you can get in there. And we could lower it. And give you those two. Go after him. So we outnumber him a little bit. One, two, three, four. Two, five, seven, more cavalry. So that gives us two extra stars, doesn't it? Five, instead of three. Um, doesn't actually say that it goes up anymore. I don't know how dark night battles are in this. Except death. If we surrender Baghdad, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, mate. That's a bad move. It's not a bold move, Cotton. It's a bad move, Cotton. Yeah. Throw yourself on the mercy of the Mongols. See how well that works out for you. Tip. It doesn't work out well for you. But it's your life, you go and do what you want with it. Let's see how these will hold up. They do have quite loose spacing on them. Right, I think they may even come forward a little bit. If not, we'll convince them to. Turkmen Raiders. They're already firing. They must outrange you. Regular Bow Horse Archers. It's a long name, isn't it? Right. 
Paris Cavalry units seem to have such great range. All right, they're moving in on my other cav, shooting them probably. In fact, I'm going to go move forward. to get some javelins into them. We're capturing prisoners already. Do I see some Peshmerga units in there? It certainly look like it. They would be from Afghanistan. to him with our general. We're taking quite a few casualties. No idea where that unit's going. A lot of our cav. Let's try not to lose our general as quickly. It's got some infantry support in there. I'm going to find out if we get copyrights for this one pretty quickly. Take them out. We're losing the infantry battle as well. Mm. Oh, there's a bunch of javelins in there. That I didn't see. Oh, it's a little tough. 2943. Well, we're killing more. Do I try to get my general out? Every time I try to do this, I always end up getting them killed. You stand your ground. There's only a few of them. Where are you at? Engage them. Alright, you're over ammo in any case. Right, where was that three cavalry that was chasing after you? Alright, they somehow managed to get past you. Alright. Oh, they're going in straight into the back of that unit. That hurt. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. So you keep saying, but it certainly doesn't feel like that. Forty-seven through fifty-eight. Oh, 
We'll get rid of some of those units. Allah have mercy. We have lost half of our men. Yeah, tell me about it. Those ones aren't going down. Everyone seems to be able to hold out against us. Fifty five, sixty five. Right, those are broken. Get into the back of that one. Get over there and try to help out. No idea who you're actually shooting at. Be them, right? Still haven't managed to break those thing armies. Right. He can chase them down. Come on. Alright. Move forwards. It's only 29 day armies. You can't break them. and well, 10 swordsmen you can't even kill off them or make them break pathetic right you're about to run out of ammo as well hey finally If we can get Dale armies, I'm going to, because he seems to be doing rather well. Somebody's still firing. I see a general's unit out here. I mean, they don't have anywhere to run to, but still, in fact, there was a firing. He's not rallying. Those are broken. Obviously, Ferris Cavalry won't do too much, but you did outnumber them almost three to one. Too bad. Gives them a little experience. Is tiring. I'm down to 22. 
Come on, push through. Break them up. What are you doing? I know everyone's tired, but you can rest when when you're dead. Javelins in. And I think that's where the end of this episode, end of the first episode of our Abbasid campaign, Abbasid Caliphate campaign, will be. Those ones got away. Well, those are mine. Shanker, you Shanker. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and well deserved. It Tough battle. Otherwise. Tough battle. Of course, we are on very hard battle difficulty, which gives yeah. them something like plus six in their stats, Lord attack and defense. I think. Right, Crown Prince. We'll put him there and then move him over. That'll be okay for a turn. Well, there might be some units we can move in. Yeah. So that'll be okay. Right. So we'll put a, a building in there. I mean, 4,000 gets you one unit. Those roads will help out. So, did we move everyone? You're about to get some military units, which will probably show up at Baghdad. You're still looking for those blasted uh, Kermans, Seljuks. You're going to go and find the Kipchaks and the uh, Volga Bulgars. Right. Right. Now there is a settlement somewhere up here because we've done our Omani campaign, but we'll bring him back here and keep an eye on whether they take that settlement. You are not invincible, and you're not invisible, because I can see you. As you will, Sultan. No. What does the Sultan will? As you will. Sultan. Ah, there's a Kipchak city right there. Resting here, mighty Sultan. Who's that? Zengids. No. We are prepared to receive your message, Sadi. And I'm also from Sunni Islam. They've got a lot of enemies, though. Well. Alright, do we come down to talk to Mercuria? Uh, no, not yet. We go to the Armenians first. Do you know the Kurdish Javs? Alright, can you take them? Nope. Nope. How happy are you? Quite happy. 
Right, we need some growth. So now they're incredibly happy. Over him, thirty-two, thirty-two. I forget how much. We march. We move, Sultan. Why we can't build Fort or Watchtower? Hmm. We march. Right. Watchtower is five hundred. So everywhere is constructing. So that would seem like a reasonable place to end this one so I think we'll take everything we can get and come after these two come after those two hmm try to leave this one as a buffer shame we can't build any forts though 